Hey guys, it's Megan. Long time no see. It's been about two weeks since I filmed my last video. Today I am here with a very belated March favorite. Just to catch you guys up a little bit, I have been traveling a good bit the last few weeks. I was at my parents' house for a few days a couple weeks back because Molly got spayed. And so we were keeping her there to just be closer to the vet clinic. So I was there whenever I filmed this video the first time around and it just did not work. The lighting was horrible. It was really bad weather outside and so the light was just non-existent and the only light I had was living room lighting. It just, it was bad. Just take my word for it. So I'm filming it again, um, but anyway, last weekend Ryan and I were out of town spending some time with his family and so I didn't have time to film then either. Just so you guys know, I do all of my filming on the weekends and do a lot of editing during the week because I have to film with natural light. I don't have any studio nice lights that can light me up whenever I'm filming so I can't film after work most of the time and don't have the energy to film after work most of the time. So I tend to kind of isolate it to the weekends and so if I have a crazy busy weekend then it's harder for me to film and I did not anticipate not being able to film. So I anyway have got all of my March favorites here. We're just gonna jump on in and get things started. <laughs> I actually have been super into face oils lately, uh, specifically the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I believe I've mentioned this before, probably in my um, nighttime skincare talk through, but this is just a really nice oil that makes your skin feel amazing whenever you use it. I have completely bypassed my moisturizer and just gone straight to this. Don't get me wrong, still love my Origins High Potency Nitamins, but I've just been really enjoying oils lately. They absorb a lot faster than moisturizers do, so I don't feel like I'm super moist whenever I lay down to go to bed at night. You feel me? I'm loving this. I'm also trying the Sunday Riley Luna Oil. Um, so far, so good, but I didn't want to include that in this month's favorites because I'm still giving it a good try. But love this stuff. I've used about half the bottle, and I've had it for almost a year. Granted, before now I was using it intermittently instead of every day, but love the stuff, well worth the money for it. I mentioned this in my collective haul. I bought it a few, I guess just about a month ago at Ulta. It is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Wash. I finally finished up my Philosophy Cinnamon Buns body wash, which I love as well, and got to give this one a really good try. It smells like sugar and lime, and my god, it is amazing. It has definitely got me in the spring mood, and it's just really nice. It lathers really well. I normally do about four pumps into my little shower poof, and it is enough to lather up my whole body, clean me off, and one thing that I really like about this stuff is the scent doesn't linger afterward, which is really nice because I like to use body butters and um, body moisturizers, and I don't want to have to worry about mixing scents. But it's really nice, and it's just a good smell in the shower, but it doesn't stick around for too long, which some people like, some people don't like, but I personally really like about this. <laughs> Next I have a couple of lip products. I just love stuff that feels more like a balm than a lipstick and just feels hydrating but still gives me a little bit of a tint. I'm not wearing either of these on my lips right now. This is actually a product from Glossier that I'm trying out. I've got a blog post coming up soon on a couple of the products that I'm trying. But the two that I have been loving are these two. I'll start with this one. This is the Dior Lip Glow in Coral. It's a Color Reviver Balm. This is the one that I mentioned um, in my collective haul that has kind of a weird color adapting technology to it and it changes based on the wearer's lips. So really have been loving this stuff um, and if you want a swatch of it stay tuned for my next video which is a spring lip swatch video or favorite spring lipsticks I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it but just wait a couple of days and you will see that on this channel and then another one that I've been loving is the YSL Volupt Sheer Candy and this is in the shade 4 this is a really pretty bright pink and this one I'll actually swatch for you because this one just shows up as orange on my hand. But here is this one. It's so pretty. It's very 
bright pink, but it's a kind of pink that blends really nicely with your lips, so it's not too overwhelming or too bright. But um, one thing I want to be sure to mention about this is it smells like very strong mango candy. Uh, at first, I had some serious buyer's remorse after I put this on. I was like, oh my gosh, this is too much. It is so overwhelming. I don't know if I like it. It's very fragrancy, like almost like a perfumed candy mango. It's actually grown on me. I really like it now, but this is a very expensive product, and if scent is something that really bugs you, I never thought that it was for me, and but I guess I just had never had one that was strong enough like this. The scent does linger, so if you are sensitive to fragrance, then I would steer clear of those and go more toward the Dior Lip Glow. Those are unscented. They have a huge shade range of these, and I have just been really wanting something with like a pink or red sort of undertone to it. I've been loving this. I've been wearing both of those all month. Next I have a cream eyeshadow, which is one that I have mentioned multiple times before. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Jean. I actually wore this in my no makeup makeup video, so I'll make I'll be sure to link that one down below if you want to see what it looks like on the eye. It's kind of a pinky champagne almost skin color shade for me. And what I will do is I will take some of it on my finger and then I kind of wipe it all over my eyelid. So I definitely let it blend out a little bit, but it just provides such a beautiful sheen to your eyes. And I hope that this is picking up on camera, but it's just such a gorgeous enhancement to your eyes. If you aren't looking for something too strong, then I would definitely suggest this because it still provides a little bit of something. And it's also a great base if you're going to be putting more shimmer shades on top. I use this pretty much every day, so definitely would recommend it to you guys. Next I have a drugstore product, which I'm sure you guys out there that love drugstore products are like, hallelujah, because these have all been way too expensive for me. But it is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I actually at first was not a huge fan of this. I found that it was super clumpy on me and I still feel like it's too wet, but it does have this kind of curved brush to it, which I have been really loving for my new mascara technique that I have been using. What I do is I will take the bottom curve of the wand and run it through the tops of my lashes and then go back in with another coat from the bottom and curl my lashes back up. And that's just a way that I have been really making sure that my eyes or my eyelashes are really coated with black and as dark as they can possibly be. But um, like I said, this one does clump because it is kind of a wet formula. So I have been kind of creating a mascara cocktail by going in with my YSL baby doll and kind of using that to separate the lashes a little bit at the end. But I have been reaching for this almost every day and it is a fantastic value for a pretty good mascara. Definitely would recommend checking it out. Last but not least, this one actually may be my absolute favorite favorite of this month. It is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is actually a deluxe sample that I got, I believe, in an Ipsy bag. It is a matte bronzer. It is definitely on the warm tone side, but it also kind of has a coolness to it, which I really like because I don't ever want to look super orange whenever I bronze my skin up. Here's a little swatch of it right here. And I have just been taking this all over my face. I will swipe it kind of around the perimeter of my face and do the E or three motion like I have mentioned before. Um, but I've just found that this is so much more well suited to my skin tone than the Hoola bronzer is. The Hoola is much warmer. Um, and this one has definitely taken top place in my heart. I don't know if I will ever want another bronzer now that I have had this one. I'm definitely gonna purchase a full size of it whenever I run out, but it is fantastic. And the packaging is pretty cute too. It's this nice bronzy kind of scaly texture. But yeah, I've been loving this bronzer. If I could recommend one item out of all of these, it would be this one. I love it so much, especially for my fair-skinned ladies out there. 10 Cloverfield Lane. I surprisingly really enjoyed it, and the more I think about it, the more I really appreciate the cinematic value that it brought to the screen. I don't want to reveal too much of the story, but I will say the main character, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, is just 
such a bad B. She is awesome. She definitely is not your stereotypical girl in a horror movie that's afraid of everything. She is very analytical, very smart and quick on her feet and definitely makes some really quick, tough decisions. And I think it speaks a lot to the world's feminist movement that's going on right now. She's definitely not a damsel in distress. And I think it's just so cool to see a woman that is powerful in a movie. Would definitely recommend checking that one out, but be wary if you are sensitive to horror movies because it is definitely suspenseful. Last but not least, I have my favorite song of the month, which has been one that kind of surprised me. Um, I did like it at first. I just didn't really get it. And I still don't fully get it. I don't think that the choice of lyrics makes a lot of sense to me, but I am absolutely obsessed with Genghis Khan by Mike Snow. Um, if you haven't heard it, definitely check it out and watch the music video. That's really what made me fall in love with the song. It's got kind of a 70s filmmaking feel, almost like it's an old James Bond movie, but I don't know. It just really got the song stuck in my head and now I can't stop listening to it. So I would recommend that you check that one out. And um, also, I've been really loving the Talking is Hard album by Walk the Moon, which is an oldie but a goodie. We've had it for a little over a year now, but we saw them at ACL as well last October, and they were phenomenal. High energy, kept the crowd going. The songs are all so much fun to sing along to. But I think that's everything. That's all of this month's favorites. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'm looking forward to finding some April favorites and hopefully filming a video and posting it on time this time. Um, but I really appreciate you guys being patient with me, and if you have any recommendations, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know about a new series that I'm thinking about doing each month. It is where I want to purchase one new release product. So I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of it, but my assumption is that during each monthly favorites video, I'm going to mention probably three products that are new launches this month that I am hoping to try out. And then I want you guys to tell me what you want to see me try. So um, basically, I am giving you my debit card to buy something for me so I can try it out. I want you guys to tell me what you want to see so I will go out and buy whatever the highest vote gets. This month, I made my VIB purchase from Sephora, it, or my VIB Rouge sale purchase from Sephora. So I got a few products that I'm gonna give a try. Um, one of them I think is a new release because I haven't seen anybody talk about it, but I'm not for sure. I'm just gonna give it a go and let you guys see it. But it is the Cover FX um, Click Stick. I was going to get a highlighter with it, but I ended up just getting a green color corrector. So I'm going to try green color correcting for you guys this month, and I will give you a follow-up of what I thought about it in April Favorites. Um, but at that time, during my April Favorites, I'm going to tell you guys three products that are brand new this month, or I guess for the month of May, like new releases that are coming out in May, and ask you guys what you want to see. So. We'll have about a week long for you guys to cast your votes and let me know what you want me to try and then I'll go purchase it and try it for the rest of the month and give you a follow up at the end of the month. So that's going to kind of be how it works. I may create it as its own video. We'll see. But just so you guys know, I am trying some new products and I want you to help me pick them. So. Um, I believe that's everything for this video. I hopefully will have a pretty solid schedule of videos coming up for you guys. I'm hoping to film a couple more today. But yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from me and I will film it.